Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you a beginner's guide to Pinocchio. In order to do so, first off you're going to want to install Pinocchio. You can go to their website, you can find that by searching on Google and you'll have to install based on whatever system you're going to be using. Once you've gone through the installation process, then you're going to be met with a browser similar to this, and we'll just take a look at some of the various options here you'll find. So you're going to see the home button here at the top. If we click on that, then here you'll be able to see where you are. If you're installing something, then you can find that here. Otherwise, if you are looking to find various scripts, you have the Discover tab here in the menu. You. And from here, you'll find a variety of verified scripts that you can download and install on your system. This is definitely where I would recommend that you stick as much as possible. You can also find the community scripts here. But this is where you need to be more careful with the scripts here. There's uh, no uh, guarantee that uh, there are going to be uh, not going to be some issues with some of the scripts here. So by and large, you're going to want to stick with the verified scripts. And if you just scroll through, you will find a wealth of options here to choose from and depending on what it is that you uh, are looking to get into uh, there are a lot of very interesting uh, AI programs here that uh, you can explore uh, depending on what your need is so this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time uh, we'll just take a look here at one of these we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at focus here and this is something that I had installed uh, without Pinocchio before and so it's interesting to see that it's also available here and the nice thing about Pinocchio is that it just gives you an easy way of being able to install uh, some of these programs because they can be a little bit tricky to install otherwise so coming here is just an easy matter of clicking download and then from there you're going to go through the installation steps. We're not going to go through that right now, but you could just have an idea of like once you click download and you go through the steps, you're going to click install and then you will see on your home page as something is installing, then you're going to be able to see here uh, the uh, whatever it is that you're running at the time and you can see the script as it's installing um, by clicking on that there. So that just gives you some idea of what to expect with Pinocchio. You may also want to spend time in the community uh, tab here. You've got uh, the uh, Discord that you can connect to, or there is an X page as well that you can take a look at as well. Um, with Pinocchio and with all of this stuff, comes a warning just be careful with what you're installing be careful what you're using because a lot of this stuff is new and it uh, might have some some unforeseen issues so proceed at your own risk there are some other options here to look at you've got your files tab you've got a debug tab you've got your settings and you can even open up a new window here and you can go through but make mo for the most part you're going to be spending time here with the various scripts that you might want to install and you can also download from a URL as well so if there's a specific place that you want to go and download from then you can uh, put the URL here and you can go through the download process as well again be careful as you're going through all of this uh, this is an amazing tool to be using but it also comes with the warning just make sure that you know what you're doing and what you're getting yourself into before you install something that's all there is to it if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe for more helpful tips